Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Savrata Sarkar, a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since the last 10 years. Today I'll discuss a detail about the driverless car, the evolution of driverless car, the mechanism of the driverless car, how the driverless car is working, what is the plan in upcoming future for the driverless car. Those who are regularly watching my videos on YouTube, they might have seen there are two other videos, one is a leader which is one of the technology is a light detection and ranging technology on driverless car applications another presentation on innovation one while I've said a lot of things about the driverless car so if you go through those presentation on YouTube it will be you know this is easier for understanding uh, this uh, driverless car we all know that in the developed countries like you know this in US and some cases some other areas actually these are especially the California and uh, some areas this is a Google driverless car or Tesla driverless car is on trial and it's uh, yeah, for years actually it's not uh, very recent the uh, five to ten years this uh, trial is going on for the driverless uh, car and there are uh, special roads are also made for trial and validations so the how driverless car uh, performs this uh, uh, leader technology robotic technology uh, that that's getting uh, popular day by day this uh, driverless car uh, applications where there you know this you don't need a drive a key for you know operating the car actually even you don't need a driving license for you know riding into the car so these are the things actually changes is going to come actually <clears throat> now earlier in the conventional car manufacturing industry there's a car on wheel that was the concept actually like Mercedes BMW all the you know Hyundai car a conventional car manufacturer now Apple Google and Tesla motor is entered into this driverless car market that is a computer on a wheel actually so this is a Tesla company is one of the major you know this is a uh, manufacturer or uh, for a driverless car actually and it's a uh, fast growing even even in next one two years it will uh, come close to you know this uh, Toyota and uh, GM, uh, no, General Motor companies so I'm not going to discuss this commercial situation of the driverless car what is this. Today I'll discuss some technical aspects of the driverless car, how the driverless car work and what are the steps actually. In driverless car, there are three steps. One is the supporting driver. It's not that you bought a car with the driverless mechanism and you know just leave the car on the city, it will be a driverless car. It's not so easy actually. Because you are, you are uh, dealing with this, you know, this common people and the public, uh, so it, it, it has to be very much validated, 100.00% uh, safe and a lot of other things. So there are three stages actually, step by step actually, this uh, full autonomous uh, car will come in actually in next maybe 20 years in most of the cities. <coughs> Section 1 has a supporting driver, section 2 has a driver in the outlook and section 3rd or the state 3 you can see the driverless, totally driverless or fully driverless car. Uh, section uh, or the part 1 of the steps 1, the initial is uh, the driver assistance then partial automations and the second stage there are two types. One is the conditional automation, one is the high automation and the which is you know, the extreme condition is really fully automation. You know, there's a North America and many other places, as I said, or in California, people are doing a lot of research on actually, you know, driverless car lines. Uh, you can say here in this picture, and some person is driving, so a lot of other electronic things are given on his or her, uh, brain, you know, connected to his brain, actually, how things are moving, actually. So these are the inputs are taking. So people are doing a lot of uh, research on this, you know, this uh, driverless car, how manual uh, uh, car, what other things needs to be controlled, when the things will be in automation or so so this is as i say like there are uh, routes are already specialized in us so this is an automated vehicle zone so these are the things will be coming in most of the you know metro cities in uh developed countries so i can say at the uh, first uh, stage and later it will come in uh, all other uh, countries that way technology is spread in, in a normal way actually you can see here in the, the, the car actually there is no driver actually the only passengers are sitting on the car there is no position for the you know the, the driver to sit and not needed actually so there is actually environment needed there you know, for the uh, driverless car environment i'm saying about this a uh, technical environment a lot of uh, uh, not cloud data your satellite your gps you know later technology and uh, everything actually like hmi system approaches to for these you know, this uh, autonomous vehicle you can see the driver it can uh, when it's a driver assisted uh, car actually so this uh, camera and all this it can you know there's a uh, conditions of the driver like the physical uh, stress level of the driver 
and what is the mood or the emotions of the driver that can detect and accordingly you know these are the, these are the things actually car can uh, take care actually so these are a huge a sensor technology has you know <coughs> obviously come as the automation is coming so there are three parts actually for you know this uh, automatic uh, autonomous uh, uh, or the driverless car system number one is the active system the, these are the things actually always has to be you know there's an active uh, in, 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 like um, different you know laser technologies the rotator dsm uh, v2x a lot of other things and there is one is the, you know this uh, sensor technology which uh, take care of the passive safety passive safety suppose some uh, pedestrian is coming so how your driverless car will be taking care how scanning how the system will be integrated into the braking system so the uh, like airbag system and uh, so a lot of other things actually your pa passenger detection of passenger detection of uh, no, undesired something coming in front or the uh, some damages on the road so so see the passive detections things are there and there is a vehicle motion control system like EPS uh, motor uh, is a very special sophisticated one not like which EPS motor is there still uh, as of today there are a lot of controls on the engine so oh, all together these are the uh, things actually. Uh, uh, already given in uh, driverless car different stages and people are doing you know this uh, trial and uh, validation process so this is one of the future uh, things actually which will be coming in automotive industry and uh, people there you know, this uh, uh, driver requirement will be uh, different actually you know the, now we are looking for the driver so day by day that uh, that we may not need a driver actually to go with the car actually car will come automatically now it is like uh, 20 years back we are not in a position to think that we will uh, give a uh, you know, uh, call on the mobile phone and the Ola Uber, this uh, taxi will come to our, you know, where we are standing on locations. So, they will come, maybe in after 20, 20 years or 30 years, it will give a call, a, dry, a car will come, the way it's coming today, but without a driver. And you can leave the car where, uh, in your destination. So, so, this is a futuristic, and it is not, it is not a science fiction actually, it is already validated in different parts, so like, like since last 10, 20 years. Now it has to be uh, after further, you know, these uh, validations and uh, or when things will be get 200% uh, sure, then it will come into commercial, uh, you know, commercialization and uh, spread into uh, different countries. Different way are saying like that is a uh, statistics is taken from the different automotive industry. Even those who are in the automotive industry, they don't believe that these are the things will uh, you know, uh, come actually. But statistics I'm showing here, uh, like all the major OEMs are. You know, their uh, opinion has been uh, taken, like in group one, uh, they are saying that by 2020 these uh, things will commercially come in some areas and uh, some uh, groups say by 2020 uh, plus maybe after 30, 2030 it may come, some group is saying no, it will not come because driving is uh, very uh, thing, so where you cannot put, you know, this, uh, I know, this is a driverless car actually, autopilot mode cannot go on uh, car roads etc. But uh, things the uh, technology is taking care, day by day technology is uh, improving a lot actually. Uh, so so uh, it will uh, come surely actually. Now, <coughs> present situation is like investigating the level 3 and 4 transition as I said at the uh, beginning. Then system approach now in rusty collaboration is very much needed and government uh, rules are because when you are driving a car it has got an insurance policy a lot of other things are uh, you know, integrated now when you are uh, using the car without any driver that insurance company are not yet you know this is agreed and a lot of other things or laws needs to be you know modified actually for the driverless car and uh, uh, so uh, I'll come up with in the next you know in, uh, uh, some other videos of uh, the exact uh, present what I've said this is a uh, last 10 years actually what people are doing uh, you know there's a driverless car in US and some uh, developed countries my next presentation I'll come up with the AV car part 2 actually where you'll find a lot of other you know, things how things are progressing on commercialization in the different automotive manufacturer what is their preparations on this you know, the autonomous vehicle and driverless car thank you very much for your attention and time